Hey guys, <clears throat> so I'm gonna make uh, I don't know if anybody watched yesterday. I was a bit ridiculous. I know the kitchen's a mess over there. Leave me alone, I'm in the middle of cooking. <clears throat> so, for Thanksgiving, um, a couple years ago, I made a gluten-free cornbread stuffing. And it actually ended up being something that my family has requested. A couple so this is like the like the third time I'm making this <clears throat> and I'm pretty excited about that because I feel like my family doesn't ever not to say they don't enjoy but they're not like super adventurous like I am when it comes to cooking and so I'm just trying to get this properly positioned but it doesn't seem like it's working too well all right, <clears throat> I have to take the cornbread out of the oven anyway, so we're just gonna deal with it. So I can't remember because one of the things that I've struggled with in the past is like writing down the recipes of things because like I don't ever really follow one. I just kind of follow similar and make my own. Oh, it's too big. Ugh. Cornbread stopping. Pretty good. So I had taken the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free cornbread, and I added the rosemary and basil and thyme. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Oh, good. Um, I added it all in there with your eggs and your milk and whatnot. I had done a vegan one last year, and it turned out pretty good. I just I go back and forth on the vegan thing as I add butter and stuff like that. Because unfortunately, I'm cooking for a picky family. So I <clears throat> try to make it appealing to everybody. So my, I have my uh, other goodies sauteing over here. I've just been sauteing them in a vegetable juice. Because I didn't, I was going to add. Instead of like a whole bunch of milk, I was going to do milk or the vegetable, and I forgot to do the vegetable broth, so I've just been cooking these down in it, and I added some basil, and so it's just a yellow onion, carrots, and celery, <clears throat> and basil, and salt and pepper, and then um, this is a, an organic vegetable broth from Pacific. It's like limited ingredients, but it's got some good stuff in it. I try to stay away from stuff with mushrooms because of like the mold, but it's really hard to do because obviously mushrooms got a good amount of flavor. <clears throat> but um, so with that being said, let's. I'm assuming this is done. It looks. Good. Looks like I just want to eat it in that. Save it for anybody else. Get the selfish. Hang some kitten. Regardless. So, I wing, wing it. I pretty much just wing what I do. <clears throat> and then I think that's like the most fun. As long as like you're on the path of making it turn out the way it's supposed to. I think that with things in life, I mean, Certain things you've got to follow a ton of rules, but other things, I feel like if you're doing it and things get done, then oh well. Um, so I am just gonna chop this up here. And I know with bread, you need to let it set out and get hard, but since I'm doing a cornbread and I like my stuffing a little bit more moist. I'm not going to do the let it set out for a day and plus like I'm kind of on a time crunch. I things have been going interesting the past few months and really quickly and really slow and overwhelming and um I don't know it was just like trying to even just remember what day it is. Like I just have been falling, slacking with things and it's my own fault. I know that. <clears throat> so I don't know. 
I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who, upon dealing with all of your annoying health issues and everything else and going under the sun that you've also had to deal with something else like a relationship. And that's extremely overwhelming. But lately, what I've been doing are these, like the affirmations. <clears throat> There's a really good one. If anybody's interested, just let me know. I'll post it. It was like a 20 day, 21 day I am affirmation. And I liked that one. I liked what it said in there. And I've, it's like day, it's like five, day four or five that I've been doing it. So I'm trying to figure out my best plan of action for this cornbread now. I think I just need to put it in a large bowl. Um, so doing the affirmations and really going out of my way to change my um, my attitude because I've been just overwhelmed and stressed and I don't like to speak that over myself and say that I am because I just feel like you know what what they say in <clears throat> the secrets that it's like a show on Netflix is. Whatever you're putting out into the universe is what you're going to get into your life. And I, I believe that's absolutely accurate. I mean, if you're constantly saying that you're sick and you're tired and you're miserable and nothing's going your way, then that's exactly what's going to happen. You should really be saying, no, I, you know, I'm great and believing it. I'm happy. I'm healthy. For me, um, I, it's not religion. It's Jesus. It's faith. It's, you know, whatever so I don't, what am I saying with this? I just got sidetracked. Um, so when it comes down to speaking life and having faith that things are going to work out instead of being negative, I've learned that having faith has saved me not only from suicide, but just even the little things. I mean, oh my goodness, so many things. So talking earlier about how I've been going out of my way to make a difference for people, and I'm not bragging by any means, but I was, in, I my attitude, when my attitude started to shift, and I was getting frustrated, I was getting negative, and so by being negative, you know, that's what I was attracting, and so I wanted to, I don't need these guys on anymore, I wanted to change it. So I did. I started complimenting people, especially women. Like I, you know, I had issues with insecurity and jealousy and bitterness and, you know, everything out of the sun. I was a human being. And so when I, I found it to be extremely important, if you, like, if you see a woman and, or a guy, or whatever the case may be, like, and you're sincere to be like, hey, you know, you know, you have a really pretty smile, or I really like your hair, or that's a cute outfit, or something like that. You like compliment somebody. I mean, you'd really be surprised at how it can change somebody's day. I mean, how good do you feel when somebody compliments you on something? Or like the one time I'm like, oh, this stupid sweater I've had for like ever. I'm never gonna wear it. I want to wear it. I just feel awkward in it. And so you actually wear it that day, and somebody's like, hey, you look super good today, and you're like, awesome. Like it's things like that that you could be doing for somebody else as well. So it's not just, you know, I mean, we all deal with the, the issues of insecurity, so it's like, why not help somebody else out? We know what it's like. And so I underestimated the amount of vegetables I was gonna put in here. So I forgot, like, I'm making, so I'm taking three acorn squash and I'm cutting them in half, so I'll have the six halves and I'm gonna stuff them with the stuffing. But unfortunately, I didn't use enough vegetables. Hopefully these are washed and ready to go. So I'm going to finish cutting these up. So like I said, carrot, celery. I guess I'll use more onion. I don't know. I'm like, onions are good, but at the same time, I don't know. It's not like they're bad or anything. I'm just don't really want a bunch of oniony taste in my stuff. I mean, there's the difference in your red, which does not go with this meal and you're white and you're yellow and yellow is like a sweet onion. So like they say, that's like good for stews, things like that. So 
there's been a lot that has changed in my life and so where are we November so it's been <clears throat> what a year and six months now since I had my gallbladder out and one of the biggest issues that I was still dealing with was constipation because they wanted to like label me IBSC and a lot of my constipation was because I was dehydrated like <clears throat> I'm 29 <laughs> And so I feel like I'm super old, and I know I'm not, and I know it's, like, all of your mindset. And so, like, people are always like, you like, look like you're 21. I'm like, awesome, I'll take it. I just, I can't, I can't go out and get drunk and go do everything I was doing. Like, my body's just like, nah, like this, nah, we don't do this anymore. <laughs> okay, so I don't really drink too much, but I am a sucker. Oh, I'm a sucker for a really good, actually dirty martini. I don't know why. It's just, I like olive juice. And I like masks of vodka. What you gotta do with good vodka? I think like gray juice or something. I don't know. I'm not experienced in drinking. I just know that that's top shelf. Um, so if I like do have a drink, like I'm gonna have something good. Like I can't do Bloody Marys anymore. Like the tomato sauce and that acid and the heartburn and the regret and the ugh. No, thank you. And I'm not really big on... Like, many other things. Like, I'll do, if I'm going to do a shot, I do a lemon drop, which is, like, just vodka and lemonade, but they make it different everywhere you go, which, I don't know, like, I just want it to just be good. I went to um, a place in Chicago, this, we were up on the rooftop bar, and we were up there for a whole 45 seconds, and all of a sudden, it just started downpouring, and so we had to go downstairs, and... One of the bartenders, um, he made it in like this lemon drop into like a martini. I know I'm not using the right knife for this. I'm aware, all right. Limited on my options, and I like this one. It's fun. So, all of good amount of my stuff is in storage. So I don't. I'm using someone else's stuff, and this is what they have, and so I'm just going with it. So, um, the lemon drop martini was the best I've ever had, and probably will ever have, and. So, of course, it's like, oh, I don't know what you made in this, and it was so good. So, I don't, I mean, the issues, aside from the constipation, and the constipation is, like I said, from dehydration. I mean, if you watch your urine, and it's dark gold, it shouldn't be dark gold. It should be, like, as close to clear as possible. And I know that if you're taking, like, a multivitamin or something like that, it'll alter that. But, I mean... They aren't lying when they tell you to drink, like, water. I mean, there's, for me, from when I had my surgery and I was really sick and I was dealing with all that stress and all the crap I was going through, I got down to 95 pounds. I was small. It's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Exactly. Gross. Not to say there's anything wrong with being that weight, but for me, I was uncomfortable. And so I'm finally getting a little bit more comfortable in my own skin now. Especially with like just viewing my body in a way that I hadn't like being happy like looking at the fact that When I got sick, I lost a lot of body weight and I lost a lot of my features as a woman and I can't do anything about it But I mean I go to the gym and I work out and I mean you've got to really actually like go and stick with it and eat right and change your diet and do what you need to do if you want like that six pack of abs and like I'm not I don't want abs. I just want to have some strength. I want to have some muscle and I just want to be a good healthy weight and have some fat on my body and so when I drill my hip bones on the countertop, it doesn't hurt that bad. So it's just like little things. You know, I'm just trying to be just happy. I am happy. I'm, a, I'm so happy with myself like right now. I haven't been in so long because it was my mindset. And that's exactly what I'm getting at. Like, when it's your mindset, you need to change it. When you're unhappy, when you're constantly saying you're tired, you're stressed, you're fat, you're ugly, you're this, you're that, that's what you're putting out there. That's how you view yourself, and that's how you're telling other people to view you. You need to stop doing that. And it's an, it's an everyday effort. And that, you know, comes down to, like, you know, being a Christian or something. It's not easy. I mean, when I, you know, asked Jesus to come into my heart and forgive me of my sins and everything changed and I felt great and I had no insecurities for like 20 minutes because I was going through the whole like, oh, you know, everything is changing and 
oh my gosh. And then I was like, reality set in. And I let it kick down that door and be like, I'm back. And, you know, that's what I mean. Like, going out of your way to compliment somebody, to, to bless somebody, to surprise them with something, it makes a world of difference. And, you know, I mean, if you're, I mean, now's the time. It's the holidays. Everybody's happy. Everybody's ready to give. You know, jump on that bandwagon. Go a little bit more overboard with what you're doing. Like, make the effort to, you know, be kind to somebody and see what happens. I just, I don't know. I know that it's made a huge difference in my life because I made the effort. You know, I actually made the effort to be kind. This is just a regular sea salt. I'm not huge on salt salt, but your sea salt. And everything in moderation. I try not to overdo it with the salt and stuff, but I um, am at a point where, like, I could, I'm not, like, overdoing it with anything at any point in time, so. And plus, with a larger ratio mix, you can do, like, a little bit more salt because you obviously need that flavor, but not, like, a tablespoon of salt on your mashed potatoes for one serving. Oh, I do that with butter. There's, like, a whole stick of butter in mashed potatoes. It's, like, the worst thing ever. It's so good. So, anyways, um... I'm just going to let this saute down a little bit. So I just did the carrots and the celery. I can add a little onion powder because I don't feel like chopping up the onion I just put away. Oh. So just a nice organic onion powder. Kind of give it that oniony flavor without doing more onion in there. Just kind of judge it. I don't know. Like I said, I just kind of wing most things. Um. Turn it a little lower, put your lid on, let it saute down, your carrots and celery. Carrots take a little bit longer than your celery. Just check it every, I don't know, five, six minutes and just kind of stir it up a little bit. Add a little more or vegetable juice if you need to. I like, I love, I like, I do like and I do love these um, copper pans because I don't like the tough one. I think that they're bad to use Teflon, because they definitely are bad to use Teflon. <clears throat> There's been the studies where they talk about um, the when you're cooking with Teflon pans, how there's a fume that can be released into the air that can kill birds and small pets and be harmful to what you're breathing in and the ones standing over it, cooking in it. So that's always something to consider. And so um, when people just use like cast iron or other things like that that don't have the coatings on them. The coating is the the issue. And so um, I have to cook up my squash yet. Kind of trying to remember the right steps in this. So also make sure that your when you make a recipe you write down what you put in it so you remember. I need to do that as well. I kind of just did mine simple. I have to add a couple more things yet. I will add, um, once I get the celery and carrots mixture in there, I'm going to add some maple syrup. Give it a little bit of a sweetness. I didn't add any like cranberries or anything or raisins. Um, I can't remember if I had done cranberries before, and then I know my mom doesn't like raisins, and I don't really think raisins sound too good in there right now anyways. So, we'll wait on that. We'll do the maple syrup. When it comes to my cooking, like, I would have so much stuff in here. Like, I would probably have the, the dried cherries and the maple syrup and a little cayenne, because it's good. And, I mean, like I said, you've got to cook to appeal to your audience or whomever is eating it. You can't just cook what you want. I think that's like with anything in life. You know, it's not always about us or me or you or whatever, you know, it's the whole point of what would the other person like instead of me being selfish all the time. <laughs> it took me a while to learn that. Or, I mean, I learned it but to practice it. Always easier said than done, but it's not impossible, it's just about making the effort. So, oh, that's pretty much it. Going to let that cook down. 
So you've got like this nice big batch. You just cut the cornbread down. Added the mixture to it. And I will probably break it down a little bit more. Like I said, to divide it up for four squash. So you cut these in half, which you have to be very careful with cutting anything that is rock solid and doesn't want to do what you ask. I mean, it also comes down to the right knives, which I don't have. So we will definitely try to get that done without hurting ourselves. So again, I had been making the conscious effort to change my mindset. And I'm in a position right now where I'm in another situation. So I'm wearing this shirt again. I wore it yesterday and I know. I don't want it if you're not in it. And that's talking about I don't want the life I want. I want the life that God has for me because it's going to be incomparable to what I think I want. And usually when I think I want something, I end up learning that maybe it wasn't the best choice. Or maybe there's something better out there and I'm depriving myself of it. And you can't always be the, the grass is greener on the other side person, but you know, it's confusing when you try to listen to everybody else or the world or the media. You've got to listen to, you know, your prayers and God speaks to you, the little signs, the small voice. I mean, they... They tell you, you know, pray, ask, seek, knock, receive. I mean, he will answer your prayers. He has answered my prayers quite a few times. And then there'll be times where I'm like, okay, why aren't you talking to me? And then, you know, there is a song. And it, it's called Weep With Me. And, oh, my goodness, it is so good. I'll have to figure out who sings it. Because it was a song we'd never heard before. And it was talking about how he's like, I don't want answers. He's like, I just want you to weep with me. And there are times where it's like my soul deep down inside. I just feel like I could be crying. Like, there's so much going on. So many thoughts running through my head. What should I do? What shouldn't I do? How do I even make this happen? And then you're like, well, should I even be trying to make this happen? Should I be doing something else? And it's like, oh, my goodness. Like, I don't even know. I get worked up and I get frustrated and it's annoying but it's my own fault if I choose to let that frustration consume me so why do I feel like nothing gets washed okay um so again when you make the effort, like they tell you, like when things go wrong or they go bad, don't let the negativity consume you. Don't get caught up in it. Don't let it rule you. Don't let it ruin your attitude like Joyce Meyer says. So don't let it steal your joy. They're accurate with that statement because you don't want someone to who's having a bad day, who could be struggling with something that you don't even know, to make you feel worse, this is a vinegar spray, this is vinegar and water, I use it for cleaning and my vegetables and whatnot, and you can use it as an multi-purpose cleaner, but your cleaner is going to strip off a lot of those waxes and the, um, not all the junk, like the chemicals they spray all over stuff, like all the apples, but when stuff's not organic, like it is just loaded with pesticides. And why am I washing the outside? Well, it's like if you cut into it and the flesh is dirty, it's gonna or the skin is dirty, it's gonna contaminate the flesh through every cut. So I'm at least gonna make sure that wherever this was before I got it, it's not disgusting and full of gross germs. Like the water that they spray all over the produce at the stores that they keep reusing and 
Ugh, like that can put you in quarantine in the hospital. Like that's all full of ooh, bacteria because they just keep reusing the same water. Don't breathe it in. And for the love of God, make sure you wash your stuff when you bring it home. And then like you think about you put it in the cart. You don't know if somebody had it, picked it up, dropped it on the floor. Somebody sneezed on it, put it on the dirty conveyor belt, touched it with dirty money fingers, and then. You're gonna come home and not wash it and just gonna eat it? Like, that's gross. Like, that's my brain thinking of all the things that are gross. They definitely wash most stuff. I've heard that there are people who will wash, like, their boxes or, like, wash the stuff before they use it. I don't know about all that. Like, to each their own. I mean, I like what I like. You know, I get that. I understand. But, oh my goodness, I mean, it's a hassle enough to clean up all my kale and everything before I want to use it. But to wash all my containers and, I don't think I've ever leave the kitchen. All right, so, carrots are nice and soft. I'm going to turn that bad boy off. Get all the flavors. all this in there. Probably going to add a little bit of my vegetable broth. Kind of make it a little bit more malleable. Wow. Whatever that. Whatever. Make it a little bit more moist and so it all can kind of form together like a mashed potato but not like the consistency of a mashed potato. Like you want it like because when I put all this in the squash again like I'm going to have to bake it a couple more times. Or reheat it on low because I'm going away tomorrow and then Thanksgiving is later in the evening so at that point I have to make sure that you know when it's getting cooked up and everything it's not going to lose all of its moisture from reheating it now it seems as if I need more chicken broth and I don't know if I have any so let's see. How about we get off of the kitchen? Let's take another tour. Let's go say hi to the dog and see where he is. It's not in his beard. Oh, I know where he is. Hi, doggy dog. Hi, Lulu. How's my baby? Is you seeping out here? Did you want a banky? Did mama take your cold? There's no sun. Hmm, where did the sun go? Oh, give mama kisses. I love you, good boy. I do, I love you. You're such a good boy. Did you want to go outside and go potty? You want to go potty? No? Just chilling? All right. Okay, you have fun. I'll be back. There's my super cute fern that I need to bring inside. Because I don't have anywhere to put it, so it's there my stocking it's not up yet uh oh there's a dog following me where are we going we're going potty are we going outside to go potty look at that creepy but cute Marshall's fine look at their faces like I don't I feel like that's a face you like have to love it's not awful don't get me wrong we coming to go potty are we gonna go outside come on let's go Come in. No? We're not going. Not going potty. Oh, I see. My battery is doing I don't oh there it is. You just gotta plug it in. You just gotta plug it in, Lulu. Ouch. Alright. So Back over here. Mm -hmm. And so let's see if we have vegetable broth that I need. So 
shall we? These are a, a cauliflower cracker. I haven't tried them yet. I've got some other stuff in it, but it's like good stuff. Um, there's like three sites that I shop at online that have really neat stuff. I can't remember off the top of my head which one I got that one from. Huh, let's look down under the cuts. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, unsalted vegetable stock, but that's fine. Pretty much the same ingredients, except this one has bell peppers and bay leaf in them. But I don't really have a choice. Smells good enough, I guess. Unorganized cupboard in the house. All well, the pots and the pans and the lids and the lack thereof, matching lids and whatnot. So, I'm gonna add a little bit more vegetable broth to the mixture here. in half and then I would take which I probably keep this wrapped and in the fridge and then I will take the squash have them and cook them and then after that you would take your your stuffing and kind of ball it in there so I want it to be a little bit more moist so it all kind of sticks together and you're gonna ball it in there and then you're going to cook it low and slow until you are ready to eat it. And I won't be back until 3. So I'll have to like head over to my sister's and like be like, hey, I need your oven. And she'll be like, no. I'm like, okay, well. So I'll just have to do it at home and like just be smart about it. Cook it low. So anyways, I don't know if there's anybody out there who... Praise. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't like talking about religion. I don't like talking about religion. Religion is rules. It's really uncomfortable. It's awkward. I don't like it. Um, I am somebody who believes in the power of prayer in a relationship with God and Jesus. And I know that that's dumb to some people, but again, I like what I like. And it's made a huge difference in my life. And so I can't deny it. Like I said, um, I mean, God, like, single-handedly, like, prevented so many bad things from happening to me. Like, I can't deny that, and I never will. And I don't believe that it's just coincidence. I believe that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And when we're actually willing to open up and to listen to that voice and to do what he's calling us to do and something so simple as, you know, complimenting somebody or giving somebody a dollar, paying for their meal or something just to be kind. I mean, you don't have to be braggy about it, but I mean, it's just like, you know, you feel good. Like, try it. You will feel so good. <sighs> So I think this is probably another super long rant video, but um, just kind of spending the day getting my Thanksgiving cooking done. Thankfully, I'm only doing the stuffing and the squash, and since I like to combine the two, it's a nice, easy thing. Um, so I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. If anybody has any questions, you want to talk, you need some prayer, you just want to talk, or whatever the case may be, 
then send me a message. And if you want to talk about gallbladders, you want to talk about constipation, you want to talk about dehydration, um, what to do for any of that, um, I'm obviously not a doctor, but I've had enough experience with things or might be able to help you out. So, alright guys, I'm going to get back to my stuffing here, which I should taste. Mmm, I put so much fresh herb in there. Not that herb, but really good herbs. They're all good. Anyways, alright guys, have a happy Thanksgiving.